Hi guys, another X-ray transformer. This one's fresh through the door. And I just wanted to show this because this is the way I receive them, obviously. And then we just have to sift through this wiring and figure out what's important and what's not. Obviously, we're interested in the primary. And there's some feedback stuff. There's a, the low voltage side of the secondary winding comes out here. So you can put a resistor in there and use it as a shunt to measure the uh, tube current. And there's also a resistor divider in this tank for a sample of the output voltage. So obviously we need to ground both of those, otherwise we can end up with a high voltage appearing across here, and that's uh, not a good thing. We also need to figure out how to wire these up. There's obviously uh, relays, and there's going to be just a coil on here, so we just need to figure the coil wires, so we can just engage these and disengage them. You could always tire out them up, but then uh, from a safety point of view, that's not ideal, because when we want to deactivate this, it'd be also nice to drop out these contacts. The reason they have so many, there's only one transformer in here, the reason they have so many connections is so this one transformer can be used for multiple machines. You might have a horizontal bed, tran bed mount transformer and a vertical for doing chests and body parts etc. And maybe a different room. But um, yeah, so uh, just activate whichever contacts uh, to the machine they want to use. Pretty big transformer. There's a little bucket transformer down there for size comparison. So as you can see it's pretty large. Uh, there's no tags on this, so I'd, if I had to guess, I'd probably say 150 kV, 200 kV maybe, and maybe about an amp. So the uh, next thing we'll do, guys, is get this stripped off, cleaned up, get some high frequency AC into this, and uh, we'll be able to pull some arcs. Right, guys, we've done the uh, boring bit now, and we've discovered what frequency this transformer likes to run on. We've wired up the contactors to uh, engage the federals, and now we're going to give it a test run on the, the old Jacob's Ladder. Right guys, as you can see, this uh, this one's a bit of a beast. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll be showing more on this to come soon.